Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to determine if a function is one-to-one -one using your calculators. You can actually use your calculator to help you get the answers uh, to this question. So let's go ahead and go through it carefully. So basically all you have to do is graph these and if it passes the horizontal line test then it's one-to-one. -one. If it doesn't then it's not one-to-one. -one. So let's do the first example here. So 3x squared plus 1. So you go here to where it says y equals and you hit the button and then just type it in. So 3 and the variable key is here. So x and then the exponent here key here is called the caret key and then 2 then hit the right arrow key otherwise you stay up in the exponent plus 1. So type it into your calculator and then just hit graph and then just think, if you draw a horizontal line here, it'll cross twice. So this function is not one-to-one. -one. So no matter how many horizontal lines you draw, they should only cross once. If that happens, then it's one-to-one. -one. If you can find just one line that crosses twice, then it would not be one-to-one. -one. So this would not be one-to-one, -one because if I drew a horizontal line here, it would cross the graph twice. Let's look at the next one. So 2x plus 3. So 2x plus 3, enter, hit graph. So this time, no matter how many horizontal lines we draw, they will only cross the graph one time. So the answer to b would be yes, it is 1 to 1. Let's go ahead and do g. So g has a square root. So to access the square root, you have to hit the blue square root key. In order to do that, you first have to hit the second key. So second square root x plus 1. Then you hit the right arrow key to come out of the square root so it looks good. So now we hit graph. And you can see again this will pass the horizontal line test because no matter how many horizontal lines you draw they all cross one time. They never cross more than once. The last one is an absolute value function. So let me show you how to do that. So in order to access the absolute value function on the calculator, you have to go into the catalog feature down here. It's a blue key. So you have to hit second catalog. And there it is, ABS, right? ABS. So then you hit enter. And boom, it gives you the absolute value bars. It's awesome. Now just type in X plus 1. Hit the right arrow key. Then just hit graph. And there it is. And you can see if you draw a horizontal line, it will cross more than once. So the answer to part D would be no, it is not one-to-one. -one. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.